Good morning, fourth grade friends, and welcome to day one of lesson 16. This week, we're going to be focusing on area and perimeter. So we're done with division for a little bit. Um, we're going to have to use some of those skills in parts of this, but for now, we're working on perimeter and area. So we're going to do pages 329, 330, and 331 today. And then on your own, you're going to be doing page 332. So let's hop on in. Marissa uses 64 feet of fence to make a border around the rectangular flower garden. So it's rectangular and we're making a border. The length of the garden is 20 feet. What is the width of the garden? Okay, so we have some unknowns here, but we also have some knowns. So again, we're going to do two strategies this morning. So divide our paper in half. This is going to be strategy A and strategy B, okay? So strategy A, we're gonna start by drawing our rectangular flower garden. And we're gonna label our known. So we know she's using 64 feet of fence, right? So this entire thing has to be 64 feet around. Remember friends from last year, perimeter is the outside, the border. So for this, we're finding perimeter. Now, we know the length of the garden is 20 feet. So that means up here, this is our length. We have 20 feet. And if up here is 20 feet, that means the bottom side is also 20 feet, okay? But we do not know the width. That is what we are looking for. We do not know the width. So this is a question mark and this is a question mark, okay? So. One way we can think of this is, okay, we know it has to equal 64 feet, right? That's a given. That's how much feet of fence she has, so it has to equal 64. We know that two sides are 20 feet, so we can do 20 feet plus 20 feet. I'm going to run out of room, oh no. However, we don't know the width, so I'm going to do plus W plus W, okay? These are our Ws. We do not know them. Now, to solve this, we can add like terms, so add our two 20s. So we can say 64 feet is equal to 40 feet plus W plus W, okay? And now this is where we have to start really thinking. So we know the widths have to be equal, right? So obviously because they're the same obviously my picture might not be exactly the same but the widths are going to be the same just like the lengths are so that means 40 plus something plus something is going to equal 64 and these two somethings need to be equal they need to be the same exact number okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to subtract 40 feet from my total that's how much we already have right so if I subtract this 40 from 64, I have four and I have two. So I have 24 feet left after my length up here and my length down here. So this is how much is left and that's gonna equal W plus W. Now just stick with me for a second friends, we got this. So if it's 24 feet left out of the 64, 40 is already taken up from my length. So now we know the widths also have to be equal. So now we have to think, okay, 24 divided by two is what, or what plus what equals 24, that's the same. And we know that 12 plus 12 is equal to 24, right? So that means that each of these W's has to be 12 to equal the 24 feet left over. So that means that W or the width is equal to 12 feet, okay? So friends, for problems like this, it's kind of just using our prior knowledge to um, work around how to fill in the blanks, okay? So it's like filling in a puzzle with using what we already know. Like we knew the lengths are the same and the widths are the same. So, and we knew the total overall. So after we figured out how much was already used up, we had to figure out how much was left over, which was our 24. And then we were able to just use our math facts to help us realize that 12 plus 12 is 24. So each side is 12 feet long. So that's strategy one. 
Strategy two is using multiplication instead of addition. So it's the same exact picture. So it's 64 feet altogether, the border. And we have 20 feet up here, 20 feet down here, okay? However, we still don't know the Ws. We're gonna pretend we don't, okay? So now we know the length of two sides is 20 and 20, which equals 40, right? Easy, we figured that out on the first strategy. So the length of two sides is 40. Length of other sides is 64 minus 40, because this 40 was already used, right? So then if we do that, it's equal to 24. Sorry, friends, I'm kind of running out of room. So we have 24 left. And then instead of doing all this addition and subtraction that we did over here, we could do 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. So the width is equal to 12 feet. Okay, so this is just a way to kind of combine all of this into this one division sentence, okay? So if you have any questions, friends, feel free to pause here and ask. If not, we're just going to go over page 330 super quick, just explaining, sorry, I have the hiccups, <laughs> explaining how this works, okay? So we're going to skip number one, we just did that, so now we're going to look at number two. So you can find the perimeter or distance around a shape in different ways. So again, perimeter is this, the border. And I'm just making a dash so we can see the measurements, okay? But it's the overall perimeter, it's the overall border. So for this one, it's 10 yards and 10 yards for the length and five and five for the width. So it says for letter A, to complete the addition equation to find the perimeter of this rectangle. So that's easy. We just plug in our lengths. and our width. So we have 10, 10, 5, and 5, and I'm also including my units. So let me just add them all up. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus another 10 is 40. That's a lie. That's not what it is at all. 30. <laughs> Sorry, friends. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 5 is 25, plus 5 is 30. So the perimeter is 30 yards. See, that's why you always check your work. So, easy peasy, right? It's just using addition, um, and obviously we know from previous lessons that if we want to um, make it a little bit quicker, we can use multiplication in place of addition, since multiplication is just repeated addition. So, letter B, the perimeter formula at the right uses multiplication and addition to find perimeter. Use the formula to find the perimeter of this rectangle, okay? So, the, prim the perimeter equation is... Perimeter is equal to 2 times length. This L is equal to length, okay? And then plus 2 times width. So it's just like taking 10 plus 10 and saying, okay, well, that's 10 times 2. Or 5 plus 5 and saying, oh, you can also solve that by doing 5 times 2. So the length is 10, so we're going to say 2 times 10. And then the width is 5, so we're going to say 2 times 5 yards. 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 5 is 10. The perimeter is 30 yards, okay? And again, this is just whatever makes the most sense to you. Oh, I didn't need to write that because it does it for me. Um, but this is just, okay, do you like repeated addition or do you like using the equation right now? Again, friends, this is brand new. We're just starting today, so it's okay if it's not really clicking right now. That's why we're here. We're here to learn and make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. So we got this. So, continuing on, letter C. You can also find perimeter with the formula shown to the right. So, instead of doing 2 times length plus 2 times width, you can do 2 times length plus width. So, if you add up your length and width, you can also do it that way. So, 2 times the length, which is 10, plus 5, right? So, if we do 2 times 10 plus 5, well, we know 10 plus 5 is 15, so that's like saying 2 times 15, 
15 plus 15 is 30. So again, we get the 30 yards, okay? So number two, I want you to circle, star, whatever you need to do. Because these are three different ways you can go about solving perimeter problems and three different equations you're welcome to use, okay? It's whatever makes the most sense to you. Now, super quick, we're not going to write anything here. I just want to talk to you quick. So, a formula for the perimeter of a square with a side length of S is P, or perimeter, okay, is equal to 4S. Explain why this formula works. Um, so, if we draw a square, sorry, that's supposed to be a square, each side is equal in a square, right? So, if this side is 5, this side is also going to be 5, and so forth, and so forth. So, if we have perimeters equal to 4s, that's because there's four sides to a square. And sides are equal. Okay, so I'm just going to say sides equal. So that's why it works. Okay, so if we're ever finding a perimeter of a square and they only give you one side, it is doable. Because if it's a square, that means all these sides are equal. Okay. Again, if you have any questions on anything on page 330, feel free to pause and ask. If not, we have one last page today, and it is some vocabulary, and then we'll be done with workbook pages for today. And then it will be your job to do page 332, okay? So, looking at page 331, we have length, width, and perimeter. The length is a measurement. that tells how long something is. And an example of that, we're just gonna draw our handy dandy rectangle. This is the length, okay? So L is length. Easy. Now with is the other side. So the width is a measurement. That tells how wide something is, right? Makes sense, width wide. And again, handy dandy rectangle coming out to play. Now, this is the width. Okay? And again, if you ever have to pause to write anything down, feel free, okay? This isn't a race. Um, and then lastly, perimeter is the distance around a shape. Also known as the border, right? Distance around a shape. I'm going to put in parentheses border so we remember that it's the outside. Area is inside, perimeter is outside. So, an example of perimeter, we're going to draw another rectangle. And we're going to have one that is 5 feet by 3 feet, 5 feet, and 3 feet. Okay? And then obviously perimeter is equal to 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3. And then so that e means perimeter is equal to 16 feet. Okay? So friends, that is the end of our video today. If you have any questions, feel free to join the meet and ask. Um, if not, it is your job to now complete page 332 and then show me either on the Google Meet or on Seesaw, okay? Good luck. I'm here if you need me.